Hi, I'm here with Ktel from Qualcomm. Last time we spoke was at World Maker Fair in New York City, and I've heard a lot of changes have happened with Qualcomm and their boards. Ktel, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, yeah, that's right. A lot has changed or enhanced and improved since Maker Fair uh, in, in New York. Uh, we have a lot more ecosystem support, many, many operating systems now running on Dragonboard, uh, multiple mezzanine boards and accessories that are available for Dragonboard. And some of them, some of the demos uh, at this show are in action using those mezzanine boards and the operating system and the IOL, uh, IoT SDKs that are now ported on Dragonboard 410C. Great. Can you tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here in your booth? Sure. First and foremost, we are showcasing Dragonboard 410C. That's our uh, most accessible and affordable platform based on Snapdragon 410 processor. Uh, it's a credit card size board with integrated Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS. Uh, and it has high speed and low speed connectors based on 96 port specification from Lenaro. Um, we are also so showcasing an inter in industrial grade version uh, in the same form factor, but with some of the industrial uh, IOs on it. It's a board from Enforce Computing. Uh, it's called an IFC 6309. Uh, there are a couple of modules that are based on the same processor from some of the other partners, Intrinsic and eInfoChips. And, and, uh, and the idea here is that once the prototyping is done on Dragon Board, developers and startups have a lot of different options to go to commercial path with many different form factors, both off the shelf uh, module and SBC option, as well as custom, uh, custom uh, uh, development of these boards available from these partners. And all of these boards are available on aero.com, so it's very easy and very accessible for anybody to get this, get their hands on them. And so speaking of people getting their hands on them, I see a couple of projects around here that are really interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Sure. So uh, we have participated in few hackathons uh, since we came out with Dragon Board. And some of the hackathon uh, prize winners, the top prize winners, had project based on Dragon Board 410C. Uh, so we have a, a health monitoring system by Kinetic Air uh, where... Um, there are multiple uh, off-the-shelf IoT light bulbs and door uh, doorknobs and uh, uh, speakers connected to Dragonboard 410C, and this is based on Windows 10 platform and and using IBM Bluemix uh, and IBM Watson platform to detect a fall and then alert the uh, alert the uh, first responders to come help. There is also a very fun uh, Robby, uh, the recycling robot, uh, and that's from Fingerfoods um, Studios. It encourages people to recycle and gives you points. It's, uh, uh, it's um, uh, controlled using a mobile app, and, and it's connected. It's using the uh, Android operating system connected using uh, AT&T uh, M2X APIs. So, so that's Robby, the recycling uh, robot. Uh, we also have a scratch game that was developed by our engineer Lawrence King and it was just done within a day using the accessories, uh, the mezzanine boards that are now available. Uh, there is also the TurtleBot uh, um, reference design uh, robot from OSRF which is Open Source Robotics Foundation. So in this uh, robot it shows very advanced computer vision uh, programs being run on dragon boards uh, snapdragon processor and it uses the uh, robot operating system libraries that are ported on dragon board 410c which are now available for developers to just take it from their uh, website and start working on it yeah that's a really fun project it's great to walk by it and once it recognizes you it starts to follow you around and almost do a little dance with you uh, here on the show floor that's oh. Ktel, thank you so much for coming to Maker Fair. It's great to see you again, and I hope we see you at the next one.